Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Trophy Titans Team 2 is here today in FIFA 23, but it's not the only content that we are looking forward to. There's a massive Icon SBC that we get to do again today. And yes, it is that 90 plus Team of the Year Foot Birthday or Prime Icon Pack. That, I think, is going to have some big market impact today, along with the Trophy Titans Team 2 that is going to be coming out today. So we're going to talk about how all of that is going to move prices today on this game. If you're excited for the video today if you're excited for the content if this video helps you out at all drop a thumbs up on it and of course subscribe if you're new let's dive in quickly looking at yesterday's content there's not much to look at but there were some more prices that were impacted some actually went up yesterday we had marquee matchups yesterday that was literally our only new sbc the 83 times 15 refreshed and like we expected some of that low tier fodder had one last bit of a boost you take a look at 84 rated cards as we head into today on friday these guys are up even further. Yesterday, they were about low 4,000 coin range, and they went all the way up to about 5,000 coins about an hour or so after content. I do believe that these guys were a really good sell yesterday on this game. I do believe 85s and 83s are still up a little bit. I think they'll go lower after today's content release, and that could make them good investments during this weekend. We'll be talking about that a bit more probably in tomorrow's video if the prices do go down. But that was kind of the big content from yesterday. We just had that 83 times 15 refreshed, and we had that loading screen, which gave us some insight on maybe a little bit more information on some of the upgrades they might do for the Trophy Titans that are coming today. Now, also as a part of yesterday, we saw a lot of prices moving with the Trophy Titans team number one because these cards are going out of packs. And when talking about investing in these cards, I think a lot of people saw yesterday's supply at marquee matchups and the market dip that happened as a really good opportunity to get in. And it seems like people are less scared now than they were earlier in the week with the whole team of the season market crash and all that stuff going on, right? This is something we mentioned earlier in the week. We knew prices were going to go down, but we also knew there would be potential for some things to go back up this weekend unless we got some more news or a loading screen about team of the season, and we haven't got that yet. So here we are. Yesterday, Bird Camp went all the way down to 370 about an hour or two after the marquee matchups SBCs were released, bringing supply to the market, and a lot of these trophy titans are actually up in price. Essien was too 260. He's 298. I bought a Rio Ferdinand at 600,000 coins. He is now 660k. I'm really not expecting all of these cards to go up like crazy today, but you can tell that there is demand for this team as they are approaching the end of their time in packs because people are starting to invest in them a little bit and their prices are starting to go up. Now, today we're getting a brand new team of Trophy Titans and that 90 plus SBC is refreshing, so I really don't love these cards as an investment, although they still could go up a little bit. There's a lot of other kind of demand and supply and a lot of factors that are going to impact this game today. So just be kind of careful with that. If you have any of these, some of them will go up a little bit today. Some of them, I think, could go down. And the ones that could go down might be some of those attackers because, once again, we looked at this leaked team yesterday, but it is very good. We need to overview this. Very good to look at this once more before they drop into the game today. These are the players that we are expecting. We've got, of course, R9 Ronaldo, kind of like the, the marquee player in the team. He is on the loading screen with 82 physical, which if you compare that, to his prime card that is a really big boost from his prime his mid has 80 physical though so it's kind of a nice boost there hopefully this r9 that comes out today has like you know of course the 82 physical but 99 pace would be fantastic that's going to be a huge card but if you look at this team once again there's a lot of attackers we mentioned it yesterday too ole owen uh, you've got um, Van Basten, you've got Joe Cole, you've got Forlan, Raul, and Doglish. A lot of strikers in this team today. So even though I do really like this Bergkamp card because he's the only version with five-star skills and you can see his price is going up, some of these guys might be impacted and drop after they go out of packs because new icons are coming out today for team number two. So for the team in packs today, it looks like there's going to be a lot of kind of those cheaper kind of the, the junior icons as well, right? We had Lam, Del Piro, and Fernando Torres. Owen, Javi, and Dog Leash are probably going to have some pretty cheap lower tier items dropping on the game today. That might hurt some of the rises on some of these other icons as it'll make those attackers pretty cheap. So we're just going to have to see how that goes on the game today. I'd be so curious to see if the pack weight is similar for today as it was with the team number one of the um, Titans promo because we all know the pack weight last Friday and Saturday shocked us with how much it was. I would assume that would continue into today. We will just have to see. Now, the other biggest piece of content today, and besides the 90 plus SBC, 
if this is our SBC that is dropping today, there will be big market movements on midfielders if this price is uh, of this SBC is really, really good. You guys remember, of course, how the Roy Keane SBC last week on Friday really hurt a lot of midfielders as this SBC is still one that so many people are doing. Look, 6,000 upvotes on Footbin. If this SBC comes today and it's anywhere uh, less than like 800,000 coins, which is like around the price or cheaper than what the World Cup version of this Marquisio is on the market, 920K, he is up right now. He was down in like the 700,000 coin range. Um, depending on the price of this SBC, this would be incredibly, incredibly big for the market in terms of hurting midfielder prices even more. Again, it all kind of comes down to how big the upgrade is. Stats are predicted on this card. And of course, um, how much the SBC does cost. It's going to have to be really good for people to want to do it because of all the insane SBCs in the midfield we've had recently. But that would kind of fit right into what EA might want to do, draining coins from our clubs before a team of the season. So watch out for that Marquesia today. And we did learn that we are going to see in objectives, we are going to see a certain card today. And that certain card is Lampard. So he is going to be our objective card. Again, we think it's probably going to be like the bird camp. A lot of people have already invested in the base and the prime version of Lampard, thinking that it would be the same as bird camp. Now, I would not 100% assume that it's going to be the same. I would expect it to be the same kind of like, you know, the academy type aspect where you have to level up. And I do think they could include the, the base or the prime, but maybe they include the middle version as well. I would just wait to see what is required required for Lampard before going and investing in that sort of thing on the market today. But there's a loading screen aspect to this that makes it interesting. The bird camp that is in packs has five star skills, right? And the 93 bird camp that is in objectives does not have that five star skill uh, addition on his card. I really wonder today if that five star weak foot English player that is shown on the loading screen is Lampard and maybe his card in objectives will not have a five star weak foot, but his card on the market will or is that five-star weak foot going to be for Gerard who is also as a part of this trophy titans team too that's one of the biggest questions that I have for today very curious to see some of the other weak foot and skill move upgrades that they drop with this promo team as it is coming out today so really hype for a lot of the players coming out today I am not really saving any packs I might save a couple 82 plus player picks but gold rares guys are through the roof because people really know these 81s and the 82 plus player picks have been so good if you're going to stack any of these today you're going to be spending probably like 900 to a thousand coins per gold rare that you maybe need for these commons probably going to be around 700 coins as well today it's going to be expensive to craft these before content drops because people are going to be saving these for team two today I'll probably do some but not a ton especially with team of the season still on the horizon now the other big SBC today right and this is the one that I think is gonna cause and create the most hype on the game today is this SBC right here the 90 plus prime team of the year or foot birthday icon upgrade it's coming back now if you guys remember last week on Saturday this SBC came out at a very low price point of 400 and 50,000 coins and since fodder is kind of in the same range that it was some of the top tiers a little bit lower but a lot of those like 86s to 89s they're in the same ish range as they were before the price of this SBC is still right around the same it's still right around as you can see right here 440,000 coins and guys I think if Marquisio is not the best value today or if it's just mid value if the cards that are in packs are just okay and of course people like to open packs on Fridays and save packs for a brand new promo team or player picks as in the case of our upgrades that we have now people will be doing this today just because it was such a WSBC when it first came out it was crazy for the price the pack weight of course and it is not that amazing but you saw going back to the foot birthday cards that were out of packs last time this was dropped uh, remember what Emerson Royale did right he was 125k on that Friday dropped down into the Saturday before the SBC was released uh, he was 108k SBC was dropped boom he goes under 100,000 coins hasn't recovered since you can look at a lot of different cards from foot birthday from earlier team of the weeks and earlier squads maybe not so much the fantasy cards because these are live of course but there were a lot of cards that dropped last week on Saturday when this SBC came out and I think that it's going to impact the market again today because so many people are going to want to go and do this SBC so if people are going to do this today that also begs the question 
is fodder going to go up? Now, I've done a little bit of a club stock. I put all the cards on my transfer list. I stocked a couple 91s. They were down at 60K earlier today. I do believe they're up a little bit from that. They're like 66,000 coins. And I also stocked some 89s at like 35 to 36,000 coins. Now, these cards I do think have potential to go up today but I only want to buy them if they're at that right price. You can see 89s right now are like 38,000 coins. They've kind of snuck up in value a little bit as we head into the early morning hours. If these prices, and here's the key, if these prices fall before content drop today, I'm looking at 88s, I'm looking at 89s, 90s, and 91s, if these guys fall back down to the prices that they were earlier yesterday during marquee matchups, and we had this kind of market dip right here, you see Benzema was 60K, that's where I bought mine, 68, what a rise from that. I guess people are crafting right now. If that comes back down to the low 60 range, I'm a fan. If these 89s, if Mane, Conte, Kane, all these 89s that were down at about 35, 36,000 coins, if they go down another one to 2,000 coins this morning, I'm in again because if you take a look at the 89s on Saturday, they were 43,000 coins. I'm not saying they're going to go all the way back up because they're a lower price than they were last week before they rose, but I could very well see 89s going to about 40, 41,000 coins tonight on this game if they go low enough, it could be a good investment, right? So like right now, buying at 38K, is it worth it investing at 38? No, you need 35 or 36 because if you're trying to sell at 41,000 coins, you're not gonna make anything, basically anything, if you're buying at 38K. That's why we need the 35 to 36K range. And as people open their foot champs rewards today, early on Saturday, as they get their games done before content, which a lot of people like to do, I think that could create a good investment opportunity on these higher rated cards because of that SBC refreshing and because of the Marquisio SBC coming out. It's a combination of those two things could be uh, where the SBC market and those fodder cards head today. Now, I will throw this in as a caveat. If we don't get uh, Marquisio today, which we do believe he, we would, but it's possible that we get Raul. He's also leaked as an objective or SBC, I guess, but probably an SBC. And we still have this flashback Banucci. So question marks all around, but that 90 plus SBC is the one that I think could truly move the fodder market today. And... With how we saw cards like Emerson and other places on the market dropped a little bit last week when that SBC was dropped for the first time, another reason why I don't love all cards just you know rebounding back up in price today is because of the exact reason that we're mentioning here. This 90 plus SBC is going to garner the attention of so many people today on this game. It's going to be like the number one SBC that people would want to go and craft um, with their weekend league rewards, with their packs or their player picks that they have saved up and they have opened. And we've seen this multiple times again again and again on Fridays is that uh, remember when Cuckoo came out a couple weeks ago there was an SBC that refreshed around that time as well that's when I bought all the 91s at like 70,000 coins remember that Muller was going out of packs at 70k and those guys went to like 80 85,000 coins the next day not thinking it's going to be as insane of a rise today but that's why I'm keeping an eye on some of those fodder cards and I think that will impact the market and it might hurt some of these trophy titans from team Number one, which is why like if I see a really good price and a really good rise on any of these guys today, especially with what I believe is more team of the season panic selling upcoming in the, in the next still four to five days in this game, I will probably look to sell any of these cards that I bought that are up a good amount. If Bergkamp today is uh, up over 400,000 coins, I would be tempted to sell. If that Rio Ferdinand that I bought, right? I bought two Loms as well. Big bro Lom, not little bro. Um, if, if he goes to like 370 or 380, I would probably take the quick flip cash on those cards. Just again, remember guys that this market is still... I don't know. It's just very like it feels fragile at the moment because we have team of the season that is still lingering. We have a lot of news. We have a lot of hype built around team of the season that is still there. And it's not something we can just forget about because for right now, team of the season seems to like not be on the doorstep. But I will say this. There is potential today and it's very slim, but there is potential that EA could release some more info about team of the season if you see anything about team of the season warm-up series if you see anything about like a team of the season loading screen or but specifically that that warm-up series right that is the stuff that i would tell you to stay away from most cards on the market if not all cards on the market besides fodder for sbcs 
if you see something along those lines today because that would really start to create some panic. Now, I don't believe that there's going to be anything along the lines of a team of the season war warm up or anything like that until maybe like Monday or maybe even later on in the next week. But we'll start to gather some clues based on how long Team 2 of Trophy Titans is in packs as to whether that sort of like you know, warm-up series promo is going to start later next week, or maybe it'll start earlier. We'll have to see what we learn today on this game. Now, a couple last things I want to look at is some pack code that's been added, and we haven't seen these in the game yet, and there's even more that have been added. These Pick Foundations packs contains one player pick between three rare golds, 85 plus, another one that is a player pick between two rare golds, 86 or higher, and then some new versions of some packs. A halftime jumbo ultimate pack, which is 35, 75 items, all players, all gold, all rare. A special version of the jumbo ultimate pack. So this might mean more supply hitting the market today as well. If these do become our lightning rounds, we're gonna have to watch out for the jumbo ultimate pack today and the halftime ultimate pack because if they drop those, that's putting a lot more gold onto the game, which will push fodder prices down maybe a little bit more, but it will also supply the new icons a good bit more as well. And as you guys remember, last week on a Friday, we did not just really realize how much supply there was for these Trophy Titans icons and heroes right away, and we lost a good amount of coins. So I'm probably going to be very careful today trading with the new icons and the new heroes that are dropped because, again, with the content, like the 90 plus that's refreshing and because of the pack weight that we had last week i'm going to be very very careful messing around with those cards today halftime jumbo rare players pack see this is different right a special version of the jumbo rare players pack and what's the pack odds in here oh, all right it doesn't show i don't know what's up with these pack odds man they're so weird but this has 32 items in it now just imagine this pack with 75 items in it it's probably going to be a bit more expensive this one's only 120k but you can imagine that there's going to be a lot of those packs added today. And if people see the insane pack odds, if EA were to post those under some of these packs today, I don't know what's going on here with like the pack weight only being on certain packs. But if uh, that 75 item player pack drops today, that's pretty big. And I think it will drop because when EA add those new like jumbo codes, uh, pack codes in, usually you see them drop pretty shortly after that so just be very careful for that today probably the pivot packs and stuff like that coming into the store during the weekend as well um you know based off of today's sbc if it is marquisio you would definitely want to keep an eye on some of your serial cards but uh it's all going to depend on the price right because roy Keane as a 400,000 coin sbc last week was very easy to complete today if it is marquisio He's not going to be easy to complete. He's going to be pretty expensive, um, even if EA make him cheap, right? This card was over a million coins before the leak for his new one came out. So uh, I would just be very, very careful with those cards there. Um, careful with this Marquisio version and just kind of hesitant to invest in Serie A links unless we get like some somebody mentioned this in the stream yesterday. And I think it's a decent shout. Remember how they did like Phil Jones inside of the Smalling flashback? Maybe that Benucci SBC is going to like drop inside of the Marquisio. I don't exactly know. That's kind of a tinfoil hat theory. We'll just have to see um, if that's going to happen there. But also your player picks here today expiring. Um, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, guys, the gold rares are just going to be really, really expensive today. If you still have some of those in your club or if you're opening, honestly, opening your foot champs rewards before content today, if you have them, is going to be a good idea because people are going to be crafting those upgrade player picks to try to get them done uh, before content today. There's still 850 insta sell on gold rares, all gold rares, 900 insta sell. What about gold commons? I think they're still around like 650 or 700 as well for a lot of these are they 650 ends the cell gold commons 700 yes yeah, 700 ends the cell so these prices are just going to go up as we get closer to content it's going to be a very interesting day on this game for sure but also some prices are probably going to do okay you saw some prices uh from last night rebound back up a little bit right alaba has been on a crazy up and down roller coaster he was as low as 770 yesterday and now he's back up to 900,000 coins you're going to have some of those fluctuations but guys just again be careful because team of the season is not far away so that's the video for today guys if you did enjoy smash thumbs up on a comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe for new i will see you guys in the twitch stream today we're gonna have some fun open some packs hopefully make some coins and hopefully we get some really good content so i'll catch you guys there it's been nathan foot accountant see you later peace